welcome back to the football and down today we're going to be discussing the Carabao Cup quarter final draw so I'm going to be giving my reaction on the draw of course Manchester City beat Liverpool 3-2 earlier so they're into the next round now into the quarter final of the Carabao Cup so that's Liverpool knocked out of course won it last year but what does it mean from a Manchester United point of view well Manchester United were first out a home tie and they'll take on the lowest ranked side left in the Carabao Cup, League One side, Charlton Athletic. Of course, Charlton Athletic have also played against my local team, Stockport County, so far this season as well, and been knocked out of the FA Cup by them. But as I say, done really well to get this far in the Carabao Cup, but Manchester United have struck lucky with this draw, and they will take on Charlton in the quarter final. You'd expect to win, you'd expect to place in the semi final for Manchester United and Derek Ten Hag. Um, next up is uh, a home tie for Southampton. They'll take on Manchester City, of course, won the game tonight to put them into the next uh, stages of the tournament to give them a chance of trying to bring that, bring back that, bring back that trophy that, that, that they've had uh, for so many seasons in recent years. Nottingham Forest, obviously Premier League newcomers this season, they'll take on Wolves, who, of course, don't have the best record in the League Cup. Um, but it'd be, it'd be an interesting game, probably the most evenly matched fixture out, out you know out of all the four games. Uh, next up is Newcastle United, Eddie Howe's side will take on Leicester at home. I think mean, this is a big game actually. I think that Leicester have had, they've had a mixed start to the season, very difficult start to the season actually. I think that the only uh, the only spark from has been James Madison and it's gonna be interesting to see how he picks up his mood having been so desperate to get in that World Cup squad to not even get a kick of the ball during the tournament. Is his motivation for good performances going to drop to? Is it only going to enhance and increase? And I think that's going to be interesting to see how Leicester perform in the second half of the season. Newcastle, of course, we all know about the big takeover they had in the last 18 months and the big push they've got in the league table and the, a big demand to start winning trophies up in the North East. How seriously is Eddie Howe and Newcastle going to take this Carabao Cup? It's the opportunity to get the first trophy under, under, under wraps. And I'm sure they'll be keen to, to fight for that place in the semi-final. Leicester at home is a decent fixture. You know, they could have had easier games, but they could have had harder games as well. So I think they'll really fancy themselves in that kind of game. Obviously, Southampton, new manager. The last team you want to see, you, come, you, you know, you face is Manchester City. But I think that they have a few former City players from the City Academy in their, in, you know, in their squad now at Southampton. It's going to be interesting. You'd expect to see... Um, Manchester City just run Southampton right in that kind of game. Similarly with Manchester United over Charlton, I think Forest and Wolves will be a decent and more levelled match. And I think that probably Newcastle and Leicester should be a more levelled match as well, but you'd expect Newcastle to be in the uh, semi-final. If I was to give a prediction now, you'd expect Manchester United to be in the semi-final, Manchester City to be in the semi-final, probably Wolves to be in the semi-final and, of course, Newcastle. But, of course, football doesn't always work by who's strongest on paper. Um, but I think Newcastle are a big side to watch. Um, at, they're coming around the corner quick uh, in terms of the top table of the Premier League. And this is a fantastic opportunity to get, as I say, their first trophy under wraps. So that's been my reaction to the Carabao Cup draw quarter final, getting close now to that semi-final. I think they still do two legs, so, but as I say, it's getting closer to silverware, the first piece of real silverware in the season for clubs. And I'm sure now you're going to see um, a lot more competition uh, to, to try and get into that semi-final. Whenever that will be played, I think it's early January, um, maybe mid-January. So it's, it's going to be interesting to see. But from a Manchester United point of view, very happy with the game against Charlton. And uh, you, as I say, you'd expect you'd expect to see um, Eric Tenag's side book a place in the semi-final after that. So let me know what you think in the comments. Are you a Wolves fan? Are you a Forest fan? Are you a Newcastle or, or, or Leicester City fan? Or even Southampton? Manchester City fan or a Charlton or Manchester United fan let me know what you think in the comments of the draw that your side has uh, you know got or, or maybe you're a team that's been knocked out and you know you're just waiting to, to see that team that's beaten you be knocked out let me know what you think of the draws are you happy with it uh, what is the best game in the draw in the quarter final uh, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel for more content coming up in the next few weeks